Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a video covering Lamzu's Maya. This is another highly anticipated mouse for 2023. I think what a lot of people need to realize getting into this mouse is just how small it feels. It does feel very thin and narrow in terms of its grip width. And I think that's really where that smallness feels the most noticeable. In terms of its length, it doesn't feel all that tiny you do get enough room to have a comfortable fingertip grip and or a claw grip, depending on your hand size. You can also get a decent amount of under palm feel and contact for that additional stability. So it kind of fits a wide variety of grips. And for my large sized hand, one of the biggest concerns with performance in game was whether or not my hand was going to cramp with my ring finger and pinky finger on the side of the mouse. And what I can say is that my performance on the Lamzu Maya is what I would expect out of a Lamzu mouse. Everything I've tried so far has been extremely well performing. My performance on the Maya felt crisp and clean in game, very responsive, very fast. And I had absolutely no issue with tracking or with responsiveness. In terms of 1000 Hertz performance, 4000 Hertz performance, the mouse is 4K compatible. And what I can say is I didn't have any signal transmission issues. I didn't have any stuttering or feelings of jitteriness. I'm not somebody who is going to tout that 4000 Hertz is this massive performance gain over a thousand, but it does seem 4000 Hertz pulling is becoming the standard now with mice coming out with 8000 Hertz pulling rates. So at least if you're somebody who prefers 4000 over a thousand, you do have that compatibility here. Most importantly, the Maya was a well-performing mouse for me because of its shape, its feel, but and just how I can whip it around with the grip that I use on the mouse, which is primarily a fingertip grip. I am able though, again, to get that extra stability by planting my hand because it does have a little bit of play in terms of its overall length. One of the biggest issues for the Lamzu Maya is just gonna be the oversaturation of this size bracket of the market. I do think there's just a ton of options. These are just a few things I have on the table. I've got more over here with the LA-1, the Ninjutsu Sora, arguably um, a little bit larger in feel than something like the Maya, but barely. I do think that the Maya to me feels a little bit like the Cape Town or Starlight 12 Small or the ULX Small. Um, the main difference is its peak is going to rest higher. It is going to be a little bit more hand filling. It's a little bit longer. The mid body on the ULX is going to feel a little bit flatter compared to the more rounded feeling of the Lamzu Maya. But overall, the Maya in the hand, just the grip width is somewhat similar in feel to the Cape Town or Starlight 12 small. It's a very narrow feeling mouse. The grip width is not far off in feel to the Pulsar X2 V2 Mini. The main difference again compared to these two is going to be the fact that it's really more rounded all the way through uh, the entire mouse. The narrowness though does kind of carry over. It's, it's not that um, different in grip width. Now the Helios 2 Pro that I recently reviewed feels a whole lot wider in the hand than the Lamzu Maya. To me, it's a little bit more comfortable, but again, I actually didn't have any issues on the Lamzu Maya while I was using it with my ring finger and my pinky finger. So overall, I'm really not able to point you one way or the other. It's really just if you want a wider grip or a more narrow feeling grip, both mice feel pretty damn good. And of course the A90, A950 Pro that I recently reviewed uh, is just a lot larger feeling in the hand than everything else on the table. Um, but you can get a size reference. The hump is higher. It's a wider feeling mouse and mouse one and mouse two might even rest um, just about the same as the Lamzu Maya, but definitely a larger, girthier mouse uh, with the A950 Pro. And before we leave the shape comparison segment, I would just say that the mouse is nothing like a G Pro Superlight. It's a very narrow, it's a flatter feeling mouse and one that feels, I think Borzi said more pill-like, whereas in my opinion, the G Pro Superlight has always felt more potato-like. There's just more volumity under the hand and the grip width is a lot wider, which makes the Maya just not feel anything close to the G Pro Superlight. 
Now, the things I like about the Maya are the default skates. These are the best default skates on any mouse in 2023. They are red to match the Imperial red of the mouse, which is kind of like a tomato red. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. I do wish there were a few more accents, like maybe black side buttons and a black scroll wheel. But overall, if you're somebody who wanted an all red mouse, this is definitely bringing that. Um, but the skates match and the skates, again, exceptionally good. I would not replace these. And you do get an extra set in the box. You can see the bottom of the mouse, the design is open like almost all, well, all Lamzu mice. And the structural integrity here, exceptionally good. And um, I have no flex either in or from the top down. I would say one thing I can point out is my mouse two is a little bit more wiggly than mouse one. Nothing I felt in game. My scroll wheel is a little bit scratchy. Uh, but mouse threes are very spammable, which just means and matters so much more to me than the sound of the scroll wheel. Mouse one and mouse two have a little bit of pre-travel and a little bit of post-travel, nothing that mattered to me in game. And I think a lot of companies really need to copy whatever Lambs you did on the side buttons. These are some of the best feeling side buttons in 2023. They're matte, which I really like, and there's just no post travel on the edges of mouse four and mouse five. Um, it does sway just ever so slightly on my mouse four, but overall there is just such a nice feel to the side buttons on the Maya. They, a really nice design here on whatever they did uh, for the side buttons. The other thing that I just don't like about the mouse is the coating. It feels very plasticky and it just makes the mouse in general feel rather cheap. I think if this had a coating like some of the other colored versions of the Atlantis, it would feel a whole lot better. But this just feels like raw plastic. It feels like it picks up a lot of uh, moisture when it's very humid or very hot. Um, definitely not a feel on the surface of the red that I enjoy. But overall, the experience I had in terms of performance on the mouse was quite good. And in terms of the unboxing experience, you do get the typical unboxing experience here from the Maya that you got from Lamzu's first mouse. And you get the matching cable with the dongle extender. You get grips and you do get uh, extra skates again and a Lamzu carrying pouch. So it's a pretty cool unboxing experience, one that was cool from their first mouse, again, all the way to the Maya. One thing I would note as well is that the box does list it at 47 grams, but my mouse and their website uh, list the Maya at 45 grams. My copy is 45 grams. So guys, that is gonna be it for the Lamzu Maya. Definitely another good mouse in Lamzu's collection. It is just varied from the Atlantis Mini. So it is another mouse that is competing with its own line. I do think that for me, the Maya is something that felt a little bit more comfortable than the Atlantis Mini, but I like both shapes and it's very difficult for me to point you to one or the other because this size bracket is just very dense and full of mice and very competitive. Overall, I liked my time with the Lamzu Maya separate and apart from the coding. I really didn't have any glaring issues on this production copy. This is not a pre-production unit. Um, I did not have any creaking or um, any build quality issues that I can point you guys to. So it's just another solid release from Lamzu. Again, just one that has a lot of competition for your money and a position for your main. I hope it helped, guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.